Hi guys. So um, welcome to my kitchen. Um, you are currently on my dishwasher so that we can get this, but I made you guys your first inker chart so you can do our first lesson on air pressure. Um, so we're just gonna jump right in. So first, what is air pressure and what does that mean? Um, on the bottom, you can see there's some vocabulary words. We're gonna talk about currents. Current is anything that's constantly changing, like a current event, it's constantly updating. Um, a moving current is something that's constantly moving. Um, so that word's gonna be important. Another word is air pressure. Air pressure, what is it? It's the amount of force in the air. Um, and then we also are gonna talk about density, how tightly packed something is, um, is considered its density. So to start off again, air pressure, that's the amount of force that's in the air. So we've talked about high pressure. If you're high pressure, you're really, really tightly packed and you're happy, and that means all the air molecules are pressed really, really tightly, they're out of the way, and it's very, very clear weather, it's happy weather, there's dry weather, it's not gonna rain, um, and it's because those molecules are packed super, super tightly, they have very high density, um, and so what that does is it pushes all the water out of the way. Okay, the opposite of that is when you have low pressure. Okay, you're low, you're sad. Hmm. Okay, when you're low pressure, it's gonna be rainy, it's gonna be cloudy, uh, it's gonna be stormy maybe, um, and because of that, the low pressure, all of the molecules are spread out. They're very, they're expanded, okay, because then they get warmer, and when they're all spread out, it has less density, and so that causes it to rise. All those water molecules rise into the air, which allows it then to rain. Okay, so they're complete opposites. Um, the reason they have a color is high pressure. Think about when you are contracted, when you're really, really cold, or if you do a cannonball, you're gonna sink to the bottom of the water. Um, if you have low pressure, okay, if you're, when you're hot, you wanna spread out and like, get away from me, and when that happens, it causes it to rise. Okay, now if we always have low pressure rising and then high pressure sinking, it's gonna cause what's called a current, a convection current. So if you go like this, you feel wind, okay? So the, the creation of wind is from the change in air pressure. So how does pressure move? The second thing on here, pressure moves always from high, it's really, really happy, and eventually you have to let it out. So two examples of that would be if you breathe in and then release, okay? If you put your hand in front of your face and do it again, breathe in and breathe out, you can feel the air or the wind creating from your body. Um, another example, if you have any balloons around the house, is if you blow up a balloon and just hold it shut, um, it's gonna, that's an example of high pressure. And when you let go or release the balloon, it'll go to low pressure. Um, so again, you can feel that wind that it creates. Um, so when in the weather, when the weather goes from high pressure to low pressure, that's what creates wind. Um, so typically, if we have a day of high pressure and you see that the barometric pressure is going down, we saw that down arrow on Weather Channel, um, that's typically indicating that a storm is coming. So if you've ever been outside playing and it's really nice out and you notice like it's getting a little cloudy and then you feel it's kind of windy outside, um, that's because the pressure is dropping, which creates the wind and then it's probably gonna rain or at least have a change in the weather. Um, and then finally, that change in air pressure is just wind. That's what creates wind. So when you're going from high to low, high to low, that's gonna create a convection current known as wind. Okay, um, on to practice this skill, I'm gonna send you a presentation on Google Classroom, and there is a sort that you can do online, like just like you do in class, but it's online. So what you're gonna do is it has all of the different words on the document, and you'll slide them over to if you think it's high pressure or if it's low pressure. Um, and then there's a link on there also to click to check your answers. I would suggest um, if you can find some place to start recording some notes and some things for your assignments, whether it's a notebook or a binder or a stack of paper, um, anywhere where you can write some notes down. So once you do that, really try it and do it by yourself um, and then check it. But I would record the correct answers um, either in your notebook if you have it or on that piece of paper in a journal or something that you can keep up with for the, the remainder of our lessons. Um, again, email me or Dojo or anything if you have any questions and we'll move on to lesson two.